Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Professor Pierce here, PP for short. And today I have a low kick deck for you guys. This deck is based off of spread damage and then it does more damage based on how much damage that is done to the opponent. So you spread some damage around, you do a little bit of damage, a little bit of chip damage, and then you get low kicks to come in for the really big sweep kill. That is the idea behind the deck and I am out of breath because I'm doing this all in one breath for some reason. <sighs> all right, but well, we'll go ahead and get right into the video like we usually do here. We're facing, um, that gonna, what's the username? <coughs> can mean anything. Um, or it could just mean 8T, you know? So we will want to go first um, so we'll see what my opponent is playing here. We are starting with Absol, which is what we want to start with. So that is not a bad start. Facing some kind of water deck, it seems like. Um, once he sets up, I hope you guys are doing okay. You got, you got snacks ready. You got, um, maybe you got a, a, a bang or something that you're drinking. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you could be drinking besides... I mean, hopefully water. Hopefully you've been drinking your water. If you haven't been drinking your water, start drinking your water. I'll get mad at you. So it looks like we are facing some kind of water deck here. Um, we have a lot of choices to choose from here. I think I'm going to choose the Greninja because we want to get some in the discard pile as long as we can. Um, it was unfortunate that we didn't get another energy since we're running so much in the deck but we don't necessarily need to on Absol to start so that should be f fine enough unfortunately he's gonna block our stadium here which sucks turn one uh, you don't like seeing that uh, that's why you don't play a, a stadium turn one basically uh, you almost never do that unless it's path and then you just kinda have to hope they don't have a stadium bump or a way to get around it. So they are playing, like seems like a Polkia deck with Kingdra as the backup here. And obviously, if you're running a water deck, you're gonna run Radiant Greninja in it. Well, I say obviously, but you don't have to. Um, oh, he is running Manaphy, so that is quite unfortunate for us because our Absol does spread damage to the bench, and it's actual damage and not damage counters, so Manaphy can block that. So we don't like to see that, unfortunately. Uh, that just makes us, makes our discarding um, our dark energy in the first turn a little more effective for them, unfortunately. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here on our second turn. We'll probably grab just another Absol. It doesn't really matter too much what I grab here because um, we're just going to go ahead and research this away. Um, all right, all right. Um, we didn't get any dark patches, which is what I was looking for. But we do, okay, we do actually find one, which is nice. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter who we put it on. I think we'll just put on the Absol. Um, we will just attack for a whole 10 damage. As as if this attack wasn't already bad enough. <laughs> that Manaphy is going to make it even worse. So we're just attacking for a whole 10 damage. Um, but they don't have too much going on here. So unless they want to V-Star for one water energy... Um, I don't think we have to worry about getting attacked this turn. So maybe we can get another water energy, I mean another dark energy on our Absol to attack. And hopefully he won't die this turn. But my opponent does have an Irita, so that will get him Polkia V-Star for sure. And then some kind of other item card here. And excuse me if the um, some of the audio has 
uh, like big bangs in the back because it's New Year's. So happy New Year's, everyone. Um, hopefully 2024 will be a better year than 2023. We can all only hope that. Um, so he is going to grab some stuff. He is going to grab the V-Star like I assumed. I don't think he's going to subsp or not subspace well. I can't I can't think of what anything is called right now. I'm like totally messing up. Um, he's not gonna V-star right now, is what I'm saying. So we do get another turn. Um, so I think I'm just gonna research. You didn't hear that. Um, because I don't really need the stuff in my hand. And I also don't um I'll do double takes as you guys probably know by now um hence the ding on my phone that went off um we don't we don't do double takes here uh so we're gonna grab a nimble for safekeeping later and then we will be barrel to grab some more cards we did get the dark patch which is good and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our low kicks up and then I think well, we might switch into our other Absol and do some damage here. And that will certainly be enough damage for our low kicks to kill. Uh, so we just have to assume that our Absol is going to die this turn and hope that our um, low kicks doesn't die this turn. Hopefully that they don't have a boss. So they are going to Star Portal now, which is interesting. Um, and they're going to put it all on the Pokia, which is something you don't see either very often. But it kind of makes sense now because he's not running the Kingdra I thought he was running. He's running a different Kingdra, which is if the Pokemon in the active, in the active spot dies your Kingdra can take that water energy from him and put it onto him. So it doesn't really matter where they put the water energy in this instance. So they have another Iridus. They're going to get another Polkia and a Palpat to put back probably those Iridus. But we will see what he does here besides Subspace Willis because we do know our Absol is going to die here for sure. And he did get rid of our stadium too, which is annoying. Um, it is annoying that he put up this stadium because we can't use Absol basically at all now because it is dead weight. Um, but it is all right. We have our backup attackers like Morpeko and Darkrai to attack them. The only problem is we have used a lot of our Dark Patches so far. But he doesn't have a lot. He doesn't have his V-Star and he's used a lot of energy. So I'm not too worried about this. I will be able to take two prize cards here. Um, we'll put down a Nimble. We will draw one card for a B-Barrel. Glad that it's an energy because I do want to use that energy on probably dark right because our absol is well, I'm gonna re I'm gonna rethink um, so I'm going to put that on there um, and we will do <laughs> 510 so that's uh, like I said that's a little bit of a little bit of an extra damage here <laughs> So, and that's not even like weakness or anything like that. He just does that much damage based off of a regular attack. <laughs> so, as the Polka dies, the Kingdra will get the extra energy here. So, our low kicks will die this turn, unfortunately. Um, we don't have a lot of dark patches or anything like that. We're kind of stuck here. Um... Kind of stuck here in a bad spot, but let's see what we can do once they use their turn up. So they are going to get another Polkia. And... Question mark, question mark. Then they're going to go ahead and just go ahead and Aqua Burst me. 
and kill me here. Which is fine. Not exactly what I want, but could be worse. We will put in our free retreat mon here. Um, let's see if I even want to do this. Let's see what else is in the deck. We do have that one dark pack still in the deck and then a bunch of energy. Um, so we'll put this last nimble down. We'll go ahead and get rid of this stadium because I'm sick of it for the millionth time. Um, and then I suppose we'll just Iono here. I don't really want to give them new cards since it seems like they don't have any good ones. But we do need an energy or a dark patch. So what we can do is use our last dark patch here and draw some more cards, which is good. We will get this low kicks that we've been looking for as well. Oh, there's no more low kicks in the deck, unfortunately. That is really odd because we've only used two. Um, but what I will do here is I will Night Cyclone. And then you have to distribute the Dark Energy around. So it's good because in most, most scenes you're going to attack and then you know you're going to die. So as long as they don't have a boss, then you're just going to... Uh, you're going to die and then your bench is going to have the energy. So it's essentially like you didn't lose any. But in this case, of course, they have a boss. But they're going to boss up my other nimble that doesn't have anything on it for some reason. I'm not quite sure why they did that, to be honest with you here. Um, they could have killed my Absol or my nimble with the energy on it. Maybe that was a misplay or a misclick. Um, I'm just going to play this down so I can draw an extra card here. I need some energy is what I need, uh, which I didn't get any, but we will be able to claw rend this Kingdra and be able to kill it. And he doesn't at the moment have a backup attacker, so we are looking at least halfway decent at this point. We need our other low kicks from the prizes, uh, which we did not get as it looks. So, let's see what my opponent has here. He still has a lot of deck left, unlike us. We have five cards in our deck left, so we are not looking too pretty that way. Um, and that's also what the Gape Job Bog is for. Um, once they, you know, play something down, it takes damage. So you don't have to, like, start to do damage to it. And you can automatically do a lot of extra damage. And it seems like they are breaking here because they did not use anything they didn't use any water energy they didn't use a supporter um so i am gonna go ahead and just boss out this horsey and go ahead and kill it here actually um because i'm looking for this low kicks in my prizes hopefully we can grab it here that is not it that sucks but all we got to do is kill this Polkian now and we win the game. So that is our win condition for sure. Hmm, let's see what he has. I mean, he clearly has nothing, so I'm not, like, too worried. Uh, not too worried here, I want to say super confidently. He's going to pass. You ready? Three, two, one. No, heavy ball. Um, okay, so I mean that's still that's still nothing pretty much. He didn't even get anything off of that for sure. He needs some kind of um, like bee barrel in his deck or something like that, uh, or put some more water energy in his deck if he is going to run Radiant Greninja as his only source of drawing cards. But maybe he's just getting unlucky. Maybe he has enough water energy in there and he just can't get to it. Uh, so we have found another dark energy which is good. Um, and then we will just claw Ren because that is all we can do here. Uh, so we should be able to kill this thing in 
two more hits, I believe, because 120 and 120 uh, is 240, and then 50, so that would be enough to kill. But he finally has found something, so he has found another water Pokemon and an item. I'm not sure what item he can get. Maybe a energy search would be best if he has that in the deck. Because then he could draw some more cards. Uh, but he is running... Seems like... Well, I am on the casual ladder too. So he is running a lot of extra mons here that you normally wouldn't run. Or normally wouldn't see in uh, a very competitive deck. Because like this one is very is not very competitive either. It's very gimmicky to be sure. But it was very fun to play this deck just... Because it's like a, it's like almost a hit and run deck. Because you hit with the more Peko, or you hit with the Darkrai, and then you run away. Um, and then once you do that, you can use the low kicks afterwards to attack and do like massive amounts of damage. So I'm gonna draw my last two cards just to see what they were, um, and then I'm going to Iono so I don't lose. Uh, and then we are going to attack it here and then we should be able to win this next turn if he has nothing which is definitely a possibility because he has already star portal so he can't do that and he needs to be able to switch this pokia out at the moment which he probably can't do either so he might just be screwed here. Might just be screwed here. He is thinking, thinking, thinking. That's one thing it's like, what do I talk about during big spaces like this when people are just labbing out in their heads? Um, well, in this instance, I don't have to do anything. Um, Maybe we'll circle back to that. Um, but uh, but there we go. We we have taken down this guy's Polkia deck. There was the last low kicks, and unfortunately we couldn't have. We could have definitely used that a bit earlier to finish the match. But it is what it is. We came out with the dub either way. So we are facing some kind of fire deck here. It seems like. He is going to uh, flip the coin here for us. And he won. And I assume we're going to go second here. Which isn't super ideal for us. But we will play it as it is. So what do we what do we think this deck is? Charizard? Um, probably. Even though Charizard's dark, it's probably Charizard. Uh, yeah, so we got a Heat War and a Charmander. So it definitely seems like some kind of Charizard deck here. Now, we don't have the best hand in the world, but we do have Iono, which I will happily use to get rid of our hand. And hopefully these guys d don't have a Mana Feast, so we can actually Absol them here and do some damage to the entire bench. So he doesn't have a lot. He's just going to attach and pass, which is awesome. Uh, so we got another Iono, um, which we will Iono away, ironically. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our Radiant Greninja is prized, unfortunately. God, I, can, I, can I stop saying unfortunately? That'd be crazy. Um, it's just like saying the word like when you're a teenager. You just say it so constantly um, and you don't even think about it. So I, on second thought, rethought my strategy because I'm going to get the Nimble so I can evolve into Low Kicks right away. And I'm going to keep that Iono because I assumed he had nothing in his hand. Uh, he could have had Rare Candy uh, Charizard, which it seems like he might have drawn into. And I'm not sure why he didn't play the Bidoof and the Growlithe last turn if he had them in his hand. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's see what he has. He, if he has, I guess he has the rare candy now because he got an ultra ball. But it doesn't seem like he's going to play it. So now is a good time to play the Iono because he just got something he obviously wants to hold in his hand. So now we'll go ahead and get the Bidoof because we certainly want that. We'll put this on uh, the Absol and then we will Iono away his hand. So hopefully we don't give him Rare Candy Charizard here. Uh, so we can't do much here. We'll just attack. Kind of a not great hand, but it'll be halfway decent for next turn. So got another energy, not terrible. Um, so he's gonna send in Growlithe here. Uh, so we did give him B Barrel, which is not great, but he does have a couple of things. And then of course we give him Rare Candy Charizard. So that's not great. Um, we're gonna give him the Pogozard though, which is not exactly what I thought he was gonna be playing. I assumed it was going to be the the dark energy one. But it looks like he is going to be able to get out Arcanine and attack us this turn because of the Pogozard. And he will also be able to Artisan and also be able to B Barrel this turn. So he had a pretty good hand set up for sure. We kinda Unfortunately, I own I own him into a, <laughs> a better hand, arguably than what he had. Uh, you know, we don't know what he had, obviously. So, I guess he will just attack us for what is it like forty or thirty or ten? Um, but he still hasn't used a su supporter either, which I feel like his turn has gone on for a while now. So I'm just kind of surprised that he hasn't used it yet um so he will put an exp share on and then raging claws for 30 here so what we're going to do is we're going to evolve into b barrel we'll put this other b doof down just in case we'll grab a nimble probably we'll attach to low kicks and then we don't have anything in the discard pile, so we can't Dark Patch just yet. And I'm going to put this Mew down just so I can draw an extra card. So that wasn't terrible. Uh, now the question is, do I do damage all around the board or just do an extra 50 damage? Or an extra 40 damage? The problem is, this thing does damage based on how much damage is done to it. So if I do extra damage i'm doing extra damage to myself but so it's kind of up in the air i think in retrospect i should have just done damage around the board and not done damage because it could kill me this turn because i kind of want it to kill me so i can dark patch and stuff but maybe it was best just to do damage around the board so i could like slowly chip away at some of the other mons but we'll see how this plays out. So we'll go ahead and put low kicks up here. We won't be able to kill it this turn because we don't have enough damage counters on it. But we can add some other, we can add a lot of damage to it and draw some more cards here so that's not bad uh, we'll get another low kicks here we could have gotten another b barrel i suppose but uh i'm just gonna play it safe um so i could do 210 or i could bounce and do 30 i think i'm gonna bounce because we should be able to kill it next turn um, and I'm going to give him Mew here and just hope that he doesn't have a boss to kill my low kicks. So there is another energy. There is Magma Basin. 
all things I don't want to see. And then... Awesome. Then he's just going to Rage and Claws. So... We should be able to kill him this turn. So, grab this. We got a boss. So, we'll save that for later. Uh, I guess we'll just Avery and draw some more cards here. Get our other B barrel. What do we got in our discard pile? Uh, not anything I want to super rod back yet. Uh, but we will Punishing Kick and kill this Arcanine. So, he is going to get some more energy on the Pogos are, but that doesn't really matter for us because that discard that's bleh, because the Pogos aren't attack discards all fire energy from it. So he's going to Magma Basin to the Moltres and we are definitely good as dead here. Uh, so we're going to have to attack with Absol here. So now we can at least Super Rod back those into the deck here in just a second. And we have found Radiant Greninja kind of a bit too late, to be honest. Um, so we're only doing 120 here, so I'm not sure I want to mm. yeah I think I'm just gonna go all the around um, let's throw this back in the deck and then we're gonna ultra ball out the nimble and put that down and then he can't move this thing um, this turn or attack this turn. But I, I'm going to use that just so I can draw some more cards here, in all honesty. And then I am going to Swirling Disaster. So hopefully we will do some more damage around the board here and get low kicks ready to attack hopefully anything that comes up. Bit a bit of a <laughs> bit of a change of a mood here uh, in the music. I didn't even realize how night and day they are um, at the moment, but uh, that's that's my bad. Um, but he is going to Clara, so he's going to grab back some things. He's going to grab back the Arcanine, actually. So. So he's going to Magma Base into the Arcanine, which isn't great because that is going to do some damage to it so he can do some damage to us. Um, let's see what... He probably can't do much else here except for just attach energy and weight. He could attach, could have attached to the B-Barrel and retreated this turn and gone into the... Moltres and attacked, but that wouldn't have killed me. Uh, it would have been 10 short. So I guess he was just not doing that, or he didn't even think about it, to be honest. Alright, so another energy. Um, another low kicks. I think I'm going to take out the biggest threat here, because I don't want this thing evolving. Um, so that's gonna go back to him so we only got to kill two more things and a dark patch is great great prize card here so he will be able to kill us here but we we I don't think we can kill him with only 20 which is the problem so he's gonna get oh my goodness oh, he's gonna get rid of two Arcanines and grab a Growlithe. So does he have three Arcanines? Does he have three Arcanines in his hand? Um, so he's going to attach to the Growlithe and then probably Magma Basin to the Growlithe as well. 
So that's not great. Um, that's why I was trying to get rid of that thing. But he has built it up even stronger than before. And then he's going to flare blitz us. So we're kind of running out of turns here. I need to kill something this turn. Or do enough damage to the Ark and the, the Growlithe without killing it. So we will attach that. Attach here. And then probably just Iono. Um, let me see what this is. That's good. I'll go ahead and grab this and use it. Um, sure, we'll just do this. Uh, hmm. So I guess we'll just punish and kick. Uh, not much to do here because he can't switch out unless he has a switch card, which I feel like this person is not playing. Uh, so there is the Arcanine, just worried about, and a ch another Charmander here. Ah, so he is running Escape Rope, which is not great. Uh, so we're gonna give him the Radiant Greninja. The problem is. This Arcanine does not have enough damage on it for us to kill it this coming turn. And he kind of has us in a checkmate position here, I'm pretty sure. Because anything that... So, like, if I escape rope, anything he brings in, I can kill, but then I'm out of... then he can just bring in the Arcanine again and kill me. Um, so I might be screwed here. But let's... Let's see what we can do here. So he is going to Bright Flame and kill this thing in one hit. Um, I wish he would have gotten rid of both of those and just forgot about <laughs> his Charizard's ability or something. But he certainly did not. Um, so we do have a Dark Patch in the deck. We don't really need it. Um, we'll just rope here. Because I can't. I mean, I just have to hope he doesn't have another fire energy in his hand. Or he draws one. I think that's the only way... I win here. Hmm. So I will get rid of his stadium and then Iono him down to one. So hope that he doesn't get that fire energy. Shuffle the deck. Thin the deck just a little bit. And then punishing kick. So like I needed to kill something this turn, but well, if I if I killed this thing, then the the Charizard would just kill me. So I can't can't do that um obviously he can just if he has the energy he can just retreat and then go into the charizard and kill me uh so let's see if he has an energy or not hmm all right so he has a boss so is he gonna boss up one of my B-barrels? He is. That's pretty annoying. Um, all right, so he has another a freaking like 12 magma basins here. Um, so he's going to go 
and pass. So he did not get an energy here, which is good. Uh, so we just have to attach to the B barrel and try. We'll just I don't know again here. Alright, so we didn't get anything we can use. Um, I think I'm gonna do this without using Dark Patch. Alright, so we did get the escape rope. Um, so let's see what he gives us here. Gives us the Arcanine. Okay, so... Yeah, we kind of just lose here. We can't do anything because the 170 is not enough to kill. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter what we do here. We can just, we can just bounce and give him the other low kicks because he can just bright flame us here and kill us because of the Pogozard. If we were smart, we would have taken that Pogozard out at the beginning of the match, so we would have actually stood a chance against this Arcanine. But to be fair, I didn't think that this Arcanine was even gonna be a problem because I had gotten rid of it twice already. Uh, so I didn't think I would have to face it a third time. But that isn't the case. So we're definitely gonna lose this one. It was pretty close though. Um, I just needed the one more turn here. But we'll go ahead and get into the last game here. Versus to Tobias, is it? Because Tobias would have no H, right? So like Tom, no, To. Maybe it is just Tobias with an H. I don't know. That's kind of it's an interesting way to spell that. Um, anyway. Uh, we're going to have to mulligan here. Our opponent does not have to mulligan, it seems like. Facing some kind of steel deck. We had to mulligan a couple times, too. Uh, we're gonna get these nimbles. We don't have the greatest hand in the world. We do have the battle pass finally the other two games We were not getting the battle pass very consistently. Oh, we had a mulligan three times actually uh, We are facing a gimme ghoul deck So we'll go ahead and put that down I will go into Absol here and then we're going to grab Radiant Greninja and a B-Barrel, or a B-Dooth, I mean. So Radiant Greninja is in here, so that's nice. So we can actually use him now. So those aren't too bad. It's not, not great, not terrible. I could have used a B-Barrel, but maybe we can grab him next turn. So our opponent is going to use this Indeedee's attack, it seems like, which is not a bad attack, all things considered. So he's going to send out Golden Go next turn. So if I get an Iono, I should probably use it. What is he going to do here? Just attack? Does he have anything else he can use? No, he doesn't. So he's going to uh, expertly nurture. Um, and that is going to just straight up evolve it. I thought it just put it in your hand, but it's just going to straight up evolve it, which is pretty annoying. Because my if I got an Iono, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, so I just have to Greninja here, because I can't afford to not. Uh, but good thing we can get B-Barrel here draw some more cards so two dark patches which is nice um, so we'll go BAM and BAM and then we'll go ahead and research and then we can attach to dark ride too 
thinking, no, yeah, we'll just attach the Darkrai. And then we will Squirreling Disaster. So about nine more of those in this, and DD is dead. Uh, and then only 25 more, and then the Golden Go is dead. So this guy better watch his step. All right, so he does have a switch. Uh, so he the problem with this Absol is it only has 100 health, it's, which is pretty low considering a lot of other basic Pokemon have more health than that. Uh, like this Darkrai and this Greninja both have 130. You would think this Absol can at least have 110. And it's kind of food for this Golden Go, which can attack with just two energy and kill it. So he has a Manaphy too, so that is a big problem. So we can't Swirling Disaster anymore. Um, but we at least can Claw Rend it if we don't die this turn. So he has a Ralts too, so he is running the uh, Ralts Curlia deck here. Or not deck, just he's running, he's running with those cards. What am I saying? You know, you know what I'm saying, but like I'm, I'm just stupid. Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. Okay, so he's going to artisan as well, probably for another Ralts, or maybe another Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, he's gonna grab that Gimme Ghoul. And then, does he have two energy in his hand? He does not. He has none. Or maybe he is not choosing to use any of it, which is a surprise. Uh, so I'm going to put, I'm gonna change my tactics here. I'm going to put this on there and I guess I'll do this first, draw an extra card. That was a good extra card. Um, get rid of some stuff in my hand. And then we will attack for 120 and do some damage to this Gimme Ghoul, which will be plenty of damage for our low kicks to kill him here. So we just got to hope that he actually has enough to kill me this turn because I don't have a switch card or anything like that. That being the only downside of this Darkrai card is that it has no way to, like, do anything afterwards. It just sits in the active spot. And it has two retreats, so even, like, a beach cord or something, I can't use on it. But for the most part, it will just die. So, or it'll get a boss and then it'll die that way. So let's see what he has here. So he only has one energy, so he is going to only attack with it once, which is interesting. Alright, so I need to thin out my hand here. Um, so I can draw some more cards. We'll go ahead and play this, and then draw some more cards. That's not bad, I don't really want to get rid of this boss, but I kind of have to. Oof, alright, so we didn't get... Hold on, let's see here. We might as well, um, might as well put that on there. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter what we take, but I'll take the Absol. And then I guess I'll do, I was thinking about using the Greninja, but like the chance that I get a freaking Switch card is very low. So we'll just do some damage here. And if he kills me, then I'll have another dark energy in the discard pile for me to dark patch to. But it seems like he's going to stay asleep. But he does have a beach court of his own, as I was talking about that earlier. And he's going to Iono. So there goes our dark patch and counter stadium to that. And he's just going to give me a bunch of energy, uh, it seems like, here. And a Glade. And another... 
golden go. So he is getting pretty well set up here. Uh, the only thing is he's getting like set up, but he just doesn't have the energy to kill me here, which is pretty crazy. Maybe he just is getting really unlucky. So he is going to go ahead and Gallade for a supporter this turn, just in case. I guess that was the only one that he had in there. What is he going to do now? He is going to see like that's what I'm saying. Just like what do I what do I talk about? Why this person is thinking for five years. I don't know. Alright, so he is going to stay asleep. So we can switch here because of the beach court he so graciously gave us. And I will take him up on that offer. And I don't think I want to do anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and punish and kick him for like 5 million damage here. And take some prizes. So those aren't terrible prizes. They're not great prizes. So let's see what he has. So he has Clara. So that is... Good for him. He's going to put those golden goes and gibby ghouls back in his hand for sure so he doesn't have to worry about it. And put some energy back in his hand. That's definitely what he needs. He has been needing a lot of energy that he just doesn't have. So he needs three energy, which I can definitely say he has now because he has. He just picked up two. We've also used three of our dark patches already. This is what I was checking. So he's going to also buddy catch again. What is he going to get? Doesn't really matter. He's going to get an Iono for next turn, possibly. I don't know why he would. He's, he kind of, I feel like he would need, need his hand that being that big. But I don't know. All right, so he's going to make it rain. Uh... He definitely has a three. There's no way he does it this time. Yep. So that is a low kicks dead. So we kind of are kind of in a weird spot here because now we're back on the board of we have to hit him with something uh, to do damage, but we don't really have a great way of doing that. So Morpeko is probably our other at other good attacker. I want this last dark patch in our deck. Um, so I'm gonna B barrel first. Didn't get it, and then I guess I'll dark. I mean, I guess I'll dark patch. Um, yeah, I'm trying to dark patch. Um, I guess I'll Iono, and somehow we didn't get it. Uh, so, no attacking with more Pekka this turn, unfortunately. So, we're just going to have to attack with Claw Ren for 50, which is pathetic, to be honest. <laughs> so, we'll just swipe at him for 50. So, we at least dropped his hand size down. So, that's halfway decent. He, unfortunately, got another energy retrieval. So, he is going to be able to kill us here easily. Um... And then he can, you know, grab whatever supporter he wants with this Glade, too. So he might just kill... No, I was going to say, he, he may... Uh, if he was smart, he would have grabbed Boss and then bossed out my low kicks and killed it. But I guess he wants to play the safe game and Clara for a couple of extra cards and build up his bench that way. So he's going to go and make it rain for a hundred. 
I suppose. Yep. So there goes those two. We are running them out of resources, though. So, like, as the game goes on, uh, because Golden Go is definitely made for fighting big decks. So, um, so our one prize deck is definitely easier to, um, easier, it's harder for them to keep up with because they have to use a lot of extra energy retrievals, um, early on, I feel like. So we have just enough to kill it here, so that's good. Um, so we just need to kill one more Golden Go and we win. So hopefully we can do that. We do have more Peko here to attack with. The main problem is we don't have another Nimble. And we're running out of deck space here. We're even lower than we were in that first game. So let's see what my opponent has here. So he is going to boss. He's going to boss the B barrel, which is perfectly fine with me because I have escape rope. And he does have another energy retrieval, so we are we are definitely using those up, if anything. Uh, then he is going to grab a gimme ghoul here, it seems like. And then I guess he might just kill us here because he could he could evolve the gimme ghoul and then if he has three he could attack and kill this B barrel. Um which is darn tootingly possible. So he's going to do that, it seems like. He's gonna switch and then probably draw some more cards with the golden go ability now. Uh, uh before he uses Buddy Catch. Oh, so he's not going to draw some more cards. I guess he just forgot about it. Um, but he actually just had the energy in hand. So that didn't matter to him. But we have a lot of turns. We have, we have at least two turns to get a bunch of energy on this guy. Uh, so I'm going to put it on the Darkrai, actually. And then I think I'll just go ahead and attack because I, I need you know if I get to keep uh, the low kicks if I if the low kick survives then we just win this turn. Um, and he did use a boss. He can grab another boss this turn if he has one, and win and do it that way. But I will at least be able to do more damage here because I can keep going back and forth with the more peko in the dark in the dark rhyme. So even if he does kill the low kicks, it's not like I'm out of uh, ways to do damage. So he is going to grab a Curlia and evolve it and draw some more cards, I suppose. I assume. Let's see if he grabs that boss. He does grab the boss. So what is he going to do here? Because he needs energy. He needs three energy to kill me. He's going to use the boss as fodder. Okay, I can certainly say I did not see that coming. Um, but I think that'll be game now because unless he <laughs> just drew into another boss, um, I think we just win. All right, so that will be game though because we have just enough to kill him here for 290. So I say just enough, but that's like way more actually than than he had. So that will be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, low kicks deck. It's definitely something a bit different. Uh, it goes really well with dark patch and just with a bunch of single prize cards. They go together with it. There's a, there's a lot of momentum that you can get going. The only problem is sometimes you do get stuck on like that one turn in that last game where 
you're kind of in an awkward position where the uh, the opposite active Pokemon has no damage dealt on it, and you only have low kicks. It's because it's difficult to do damage to it then. You need your more Peko or your Dark Ride to attack it. But like I said before, that'll be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stick around for one last video at the end here. PP out.